Welcome back to this RB Sensei. To my diehard fans, make sure you watch at least until 9 minutes because watch time is the most important factor to this channel growing and being successful. To new watchers, if you like this video at any point, like and comment. Now let's get into this ridiculous nonsense. <laughs> What the f is this piece of sh? I'm a grown ass woman and I can do everything I need to do for myself. I can provide for myself. I can do everything. But listen, I like princess treatment. I like princess treatment. I like being provided for. Nigga, no! I like being taken care of. I like being spoken to softly and gentle because they think I'm this little thing. I like getting surprise flowers at my doorstep. I like it all. Nobody gives a f about that. <laughs> well, who wouldn't like that? Who wouldn't like getting their butt kissed 24 7 <laughs> but why should any guy do it what are you going to give them in return other than a huge fucking headache and demands for more and more and more and complaints when he can't do it 24 7 because he got a job or family or friends or he gets sick this is a horrible deal even if a man is rich like if a man is rich and he can do this for you know a woman no problem why not just have a rotation because you're going to get tired of effing this one. You're going to get tired of looking at this one. So why not just be a bachelor? She's not providing anything for your life other than sitting in your house and looking pretty and spending money. This is a horrible deal for any man. This is a woman who's not looking to reciprocate in any way. I could just tell. You don't know that. But hey, if you can get some sucker to do it, go for it, hon. I hope you lock down, you know, the marriage. Because your looks are going to fade. And what's going to motivate him to treat you like a princess when you don't look like one anymore? Because you don't have good character. You're not a good person. You're not funny, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You're cringe. You're not self-aware because you have a TikTok page talking about this bullshit. So, yeah, just lock down the marriage, hon, because it's all downhill from here. My nigga. <laughs> I want the door open for me. No. I want the seat pulled out in front of me. No. I want every single car door to be open for me and to help me get in. I want every time time I'm getting out off of a step, I want that hand to hold to get me off of it. I can do it myself. I can do all of it myself. Let's be clear about this too. If you hooked her up to a lie detector test with a pistol to her dome, <laughs> like tell us why you think you deserve all this. And if you lie and the lie detector, you know, says that you lied, the air is blown. <laughs> She's going to be honest and say, because I'm pretty. That's the reason she thinks she deserves all this. No other reason. Think about how stupid that is. There's an ugly fat woman somewhere with really great character and she's really giving and loving and nurturing and she'll give you the shirt off her back. She deserves this type of treatment way more than a pretty ding bat with nothing to offer. I do think you're onto something. I want it done for me. I want that princess treatment. Chivalry is dead, but let's bring it back, okay? And let's not forget about the forehead kisses. We love those, okay? I need that. What would you do with a brain if you had one? I'm getting absolutely flamed on the comment section of my last video. I made a video talking about texts that men have sent me dating in New York. Two of the text messages are from guys asking me to Venmo them after dates. I want to make my dating philosophy abundantly clear. I personally think whoever asked, which in all of these cases were men, that I met before in person, should pay after the date. However, I always think that women should do the little reach for their wallet. <sighs> I just want to touch on how she cares about getting flamed on the internet. You can't make a wife out of this. You can't make a good mother out of this. She will always care about social media comments more than she care about her husband and some kids. Period. And when her looks fade and nobody want to see her on TikTok anymore, if she did get a husband and some kids, she's going to take it out on them. I guarantee you that. I can guarantee you that. Second, shout out to all the guys who wanted a refund for their time wasted with such an air-headed woman with nothing to offer. They like, after this, come on, you got to run some, some ducats. Because I can't get that time back. I could have been doing something way more important or way better. Or even if I had nothing to do, even sitting at home jerking off would have been better than sitting there with you. So please, run them pockets. <laughs> and see, they're only going to tell you half of the story. <laughs> I'm sure she probably owed them, truly owed them that money. This is what I always do. I think it's just a nice little dance that men and women play with each other. The woman reaches, the man says, oh no, I've got it. I dated in New York for over a year. And I feel like most men are willing to play this dance with me. 
I haven't felt the need to ask outright. Sometimes they'll swap their hand, tell me to put the wallet away. And I take that as meaning that I'm good. As shown by those texts though, I have had the experience where a guy will request me after a date. <laughs> those were the guys who had self-esteem. Those were the guys who realized after the date it just wasn't worth it. And they can do better. And here's the thing that she's not going to mention. Those other guys who did pay, they didn't think it was worth it either. She would still be with one of them. She's not touching on that. You've been on dates in New York for a year with the type of guys who can cover bills no problem in New York. But none of them kept you. Can you dive in on that? <laughs> can you peel the layers back on that topic? I didn't think so. I guess just being attractive isn't enough, is it? Hope these makeup tutorials are bringing in the dough. Because I got a feeling you're not going to be able to afford living in New York for the rest of your life on your own talents, if you know what I mean. Especially if you ain't taking off no clothes. God, you're sick. Hey folks, you tired of hearing this stupid advertisement? You can get access to all my videos ad-free by subscribing to Patreon or Subscribestar for $5 a month. And for the convenience of staying on YouTube, you can join the YouTube membership for $10 a month. You also get access to over 70 archived exclusive videos as well as two weekly exclusive videos. Not to mention you get access to videos at least one day early. Go yourself. That's how I feel. But this has only ever happened if I've expressed to the guy that I'm not interested in seeing them again. Again, this is just my personal philosophy. I'm curious what you guys think. You don't really want to know. Can you please tell us what happened to the guys who expressed to you that they weren't interested in the second date? Can you please tell us what went wrong in those instances? No, because you got to make it seem like you the big boss and you the one with high value and those guys weren't worth you. But what about the guys you thought were more than worth you? It, never mind. Splitting the bill on a first date. I've just received a message. She wanted my opinion on it. This is my opinion on it. That is, it screams to me, an inexperienced man. And the date would never happen. I just don't think that would ever happen to me because men tell you, like, people show you who they are up front. Like, you ignore the signs. If you go on a date with a guy and he's asked you on the first date, so even the second and third date, I would just be, it wouldn't happen. Um, he asked you to split the bill. There was that. He showed you who he was. Like, Look, ma'am, you're a pretty woman. I'm not going to lie about it. You're pretty. Here's the thing, though. Pretty women are the most cursed in the dating market because they think they deserve something that doesn't exist. And second, they never had to develop in any other ways because they're pretty and skinny in America. They never had to learn how to be given, loving, nurturing, good personality, good character, stick it out through the hard times. See, that's the pivotal thing <laughs> that pretty women are usually missing. They don't know how to stick it out through the hard times because they think there's always another 10 guy waiting because I'm hot. That's running out. Tick tock, bitch. Tick tock. Because like I say, every relationship come with some BS. There is no such thing as I ain't putting up with no BS. Well, you don't want to be in a relationship with another human for 50 years then. Because it's coming with some BS. No matter who you with. Message. Message. So the question I got to keep asking women like this, after all the dates you've been on, why don't you have somebody at this point? You look like you're about 27, 28, maybe 30, 32. You've been dating for over a decade looking like this. What's the problem, hon? We have all dealt with men who treat us like we are not good enough. No, the problem is we are too enough and you can't handle it. Fellas, don't get caught up in this thing about I got to pay for everything all the time, no matter what. F that. If she into you, she willing to pay for a whole date. Forget 50-50. If a woman not offering to pay for a whole date by the third or fourth date, and I don't know why you taking up on a date these days, but okay, I'll roll with you. She ain't into you like that. If she'll sit and let you pay for three and four dates in a row without offering to buy drinks, without offering to do nothing for you, at least you know, invite you over to cook for you or something, some type of, you know, reciprocation, then she's not into you like that and she's using you. Even if she is giving up the bonds, she's not the one. How dare you? And if you're listening to this channel, you shouldn't even believe in the one. He's asked you to meet him 
whether like he, he expects you to travel whether he's um the date is convenient for him and not for you whether it, it telltale signs are there that tell you what type of man this is it's you you need to read the signs of who these men are i would i guarantee i it could happen i 99.9 percent .9 think it will never happen right a lot of stuff that you thought would never happen is gonna start happening once the wrinkles come in once your terrible diet start kicking in, you know what I mean? And you can't keep that body tight no more. See, that's when a lot of stuff that you thought was out of the realm of possibility is going to be happening all the time. But they don't get it. When they're young and attractive, you can't tell them nothing. That I will go on a date and a guy will ask me, because I just don't, that, what would he, like, how would he get me on the date? What were you, like, if, it just screams inexperience. Like, what would you talk to me about? Like, what, you have no game. Like, if that, it, it's just like, it's inconceivable. It's inconceivable to me that that is like a norm these days. You know what you don't have experience in? Keeping a man around that you respect? That's something you have no experience in. There was a study that said 45% of women ages 25 to 44 are going to be single by the year 2030. And you already know that a lot of the guys are gonna have an absolute heyday with this. Just another reason to hate on women. But before that happens, I wanna talk about the reality of that statistic. It actually makes sense because the average age of people getting married for the first time is going up. Life expectancy is going up. The ability to have a child at an older age has grown thanks to science. But it doesn't matter, you're still a train wreck. So even if the technology come out for you to be able to have a healthy baby at 55, nobody is going to want to be with you. And you're still going to ruin that child's life. I ain't forgot about that shit. Y'all niggas think I forgot, nigga. I ain't forgot about none of that shit. How old you get doesn't make it any better. It actually makes it worse. You're only getting worse with time. Those stupid, stupid, inflated, blimp lips. I'm just so tired of them. Everybody knows you're mentally ill instantly as soon as they see you mathematical perspective if every woman between the ages of 25 to 44 got married at the age of 35 that number would be 50 percent and this is just yet another tactic to try to scare women into settling for shitty relationships no we're not trying to trick you into settling why can't you get a good one some people have good relationships why can't you get one that's a good question please don't settle i don't want women to settle for a good man because they're just gonna ruin them I'm not one of those channels advocating for women like this to go ahead and settle down with a nice guy. I don't want his life to be ruined. To me, being single for the rest of my life is actually not something that terrifies me. Because I am inherently happy with myself. Because you can still put on 10 pounds of makeup and get attention at the bar and get a little bit of money off of OF. But what about when that ends? No family, no husband, just a crazy looking old lady who's struggling to survive and retire. So f*** you all. I'm going to be that old f***ing cat lady who lives on her farm by herself, has 50,000 hobby animals, and lives longer than all of you. You're still here? It's over. Go home. To say that about a woman, why can't you say women are wrong when they're wrong? You want to be making moves down the street, have no attachments, allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat. Okay, first of all, I didn't miss the red flags, I looked at them and thought, damn, that's sexy, and that's my problem. 